Hello, this is Chaos Baloo, and welcome back to more digging it around with the Midgard Zolom. You see, you, the game wants to get across here for the Chocobo, it's by far the easiest method, but it's not the only way you can do it. Okay, I'm safe here. Good. Um, there are actually a few different wa extra ways you can cheese this. One of them, which I'm going to try to do right now, I should have done this off-screen. Ugh. But, okay, so here's how it works. Uh, you know, this might actually be good. If you wait until the Midgar Zolom is in a far corner, you can run straight across without it catching you. Also, okay, I guess you do can do this without a chocobo. Did not know that. Good to know, I suppose. So, now that I've shown that, I'm actually going to go into the mine. Uh, another, yet another way you can do this is a save scum route. Basically, you can walk part way through, save your game, quit, and reload, and the Midgar Zolom should be further away from you. And you can keep repeating that a little bit at a time until you get to the other end. Although I do not recommend that strategy, because I... It's a little bit unpredictable where the Zolom will actually load and you might get stuck. Um, so, at the very least, if you're going to do that, do it in a separate save slot. Anyway, let's go into the mine. The Mithril Mine. You know, I don't think I have an item list for this area. Let's see. Well... I mean, not. I do have one, but not immediately available, so. I guess I can you just check once I'm done that I have everything. Oh! Okay. That guy. That attack, actually. That's an enemy skill. We want the, him to do it to red. We don't give a shit about the rest of these guys, as far as I remember. Uh. There's actually one enemy in here that I know I want to steal something from. Did I write it down? Uh, I did! I did write it down. I don't know if any of these are it! Uh, not that one. Not that one. And not the dragon, so, no. There's an item I want to steal, but none of these guys have it. Good to know. Hmm. But no. I, I want it to use the flamethrower on the red 13 because I want the enemy skill power. Ah! Red does the dance, which is hilarious on him because he's, he like twirls at a 30 degree angle. It just looks so weird, but like funny weird. Okay then. Let's see... Is there anything else in here? I know there's like one important materia in here as well. Like that for collecting, but I don't remember what it is. I'm sure I'll, I'm sure I'll find it because, I mean, well frankly, the mines are not that large. But I really can't remember what it is. Hmm. I mean, clear... Clearly, I will have to take a break after this episode to update my notes, because... Well, actually, no, I will, because my notes are only good for, for really one more thing after I get out of this mine right now. That's as far as I bothered writing... That's a, as far as I bothered writing them, like, way back when I was still in Midgar... in uh, Shinra Tower, I want to say. And I haven't really bothered adding anything to them since then. You know what? This looks like a good time for Chocobo Mog. Right. Oh. I mean, I'm still gonna use Chocobo Mog. That one. It is actually kind of hard to target accurately. <laughs> it runs right through the wall. I forgot it did that. 
It looks so stupid. But... But also sort of funny. Oh yeah, I forgot. You, it isn't like you targeting things when summons are happening. Or a few attacks, but mostly just summons. Okay. Um... Oh yeah, I totally abandoned trying to get that enemy skill from the from the move. It's it's not that important to me. I'll just come back for it later. Uh, because I get, well, I'm gonna need to come back to the area anyway for um, the Zolem's enemy skill. So I'll just grab it at the same time. Uh, what's this away? It's a box. Mind source. Are you the guys that I want? Uh, yes, actually you are. Uh, I want to steal things from you. And I actually want to steal from both of them, if I can. Because I am in desperate need of money. Like, I'm gonna be... When I get in the next two areas, I'm gonna be in a lot of trouble. Because I will not be able to afford anything that I'm gonna want to buy. And I'm gonna want to... Oh, hey, I got it. Uh... Incidentally, wait, did I just cure the monster? No. Okay, good. Incidentally, the Grand Glove is a refund for Tifa. It is the equivalent of the Atomic Scissors for Ferret, or the Hard Edge for Cloud, or the I Don't Have It staff for Aerith. What does this do? Okay, that, I'm pretty sure that inflicts Berserk on my party. And haste, but Berserk. So I'm gonna go ahead and not use that. Uh, at least not while I'm in the process of attempting to steal another Grand Glove so I can sell it for money. Because I seriously need the freaking money. <laughs> oh hey, that was so much less painful than the Atomic Scissors. Okay then. Seriously? Already? That seems really early. Huh. Go figure. I guess all just levels up really quickly. Although... What level do... Well, that's a lot. That's that's actually not that far away. That's probably like 2,000, so it's 1,500 for here. So, the material I had from the beginning of the game should be... Let's see... That's about a thousand, that's about a thousand. That's only 500. I thought I had lightning at the beginning of the game as well. Why do I... I don't know, that's weird. Whatever. Uh, you know though, I do not need Chocobo Ma Lure. Wait. Why does this have multiple levels? I don't think it does anything for having a higher level. Does it? I'm gonna look... I'm gonna look that one up later, but for now, I'm throwing on Earth. Because... Earth. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I just remembered. There aren't hidden items in the grounds. This, I don't have Golden Sun Syndrome, where I have to click on everything that stands out to me until I get Reveal. Ah. Uh, and then I just start spamming Reveal instead. Chocobo Mog. Because I don't even want to try. I just want you guys to be like dead. And also I want to use this a lot just so I can get the um, so I can get the alternate summon from it. Because it's really cool and as far as I know this is the only materia in this game that does this. Or rather the only summon. Where you can get two different things from the same summon. And it is actually really cool. Okay, uh, this way, I guess. It's rude! And also, someone else that we don't know! Wait, you've seen rude before? I mean, yes, you're the Turks. I mean, not really, you're, you're basically mobsters. Um... 
kidnapping, extortion, espionage. I mean, uh, well, I say mobsters, but you could just as easily say spies. I mean, assassinations, uh, etc. Wait, any more? What do you mean, any more? And he's just stopped talking. This is actually sort of the, a nice part of Rude. He, I mean, he can talk, obviously, he's not mute, but he is, like, really, really short on the talking bits. Yep, it's Elena. Oh, we totally kicked Reno's axe, that's right. But he did, but he did still set off a bomb, jump off a tower, and catch a ride with a helicopter, one arm, so... I don't... It, he couldn't have been in that bad shape. Although, 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 having said that, I guess the... Well, no, no. Sung was also in the helicopter, so... I'm pretty sure he was not caught in the explosion. Um... For that matter, Aerith was also in the helicopter, and Marlene, and... Well, yeah. Wait, no. Maybe it was a different helicopter. No, I'm pretty sure it wasn't. Uh, anyway. Are we really getting- oh hey, speaking of Sung. Yeah, what a blabbermouth. <laughs> well. Thanks for telling us, Elena. Yeah, I gotta say, I don't think she would have... Had the Turks not been shorthanded, I don't think Elena would have been promoted. She, frankly, she's a little bit incompetent. Um, clearly. Really. And I'd love to receive his, his affection and return it in kind. Next time, he won't walk away from- well, I guess he didn't walk away from it last time, did he? Next time, he won't jump off of a ta tower and ride away in a helicopter! That doesn't really have the same impact, does it? Mm, yeah. Okay, well that was weird. Uh, let's go this way. It's a box! It's an elixir. Actually, elixir's pretty valuable. And a high potion, and is there anything over here? I don't think so. Wait, wait, wait. Haha! -ha! The power of assist! The select button. Okay, so. What I'm trying to remember is how to get into that ledge towards my right. Because I'm pretty sure I can get up there, but. Well, I don't recall how. Hmm. Maybe I should take this off, put this back on the active, or auto? I mean, I don't actually want an active, but I don't know. Like, this game is actually played best on weight, I think, but it does slow down battles. So for the sake of the viewing experience, it might be beneficial. Did, did Chocobo Mod hit them in the back? Because it kind of looked like it did. Which is sort of hilarious, but also sort of weird. Okay, I don't remember how to get over there. Um, This is the exit, isn't it? It is. Okay, well, this is going to be a short episode, but the last one was like nearly half an hour long, so I'm fine with that. Um, having said that, until next time, this has been Let's Play Final Fantasy VII with Chaos Blue, and have a good day. Bye!